We are seeing such extreme weather on so many continents around the globe tonight. Take Pakistan. The thermometer registered 120 degrees there today, and now 12 million people, as you know, have been shaken by those furious monsoon rains and floods. So we asked ABC's Clayton Sandell to tell us what the experts are saying about this weather and global warming. 500 brush fires scorching Russia, flash floods devastating India and Pakistan. The hottest year on record here in the U.S. It doesn't quit. Like it's hot at night, it's hot during the day, it's hot all the time. Climate scientists yeah. have long predicted extreme weather events like these would become more frequent as humans warm the planet. Temperatures have been rising steadily since we began keeping records in 1880. So has global warming finally arrived? It has finally arrived. It finally arrived some time ago. And those sorts of phenomena are exactly what we'd expect to see. We've been predicting them for years. They're here. But what about those massive snowstorms that paralyzed parts of the East Coast this winter? Speaking to ABC's John Carl, climate change deniers like Oklahoma Senator James Inhofe claim these storms disprove global warming. I don't think that anyone disagrees with the fact that we actually are in the middle of a cold period that started about nine years ago. Climate scientists say that isn't true, and any one event doesn't prove or disprove global warming. The overall pattern, they say, is clear. More record highs, more heat waves, fewer record lows, and, and fewer prolonged cold spells. And indeed, we have seen this in the U.S. in recent decades as well. Scientists say there are still uncertainties about how much and how quickly global warming will change our weather. But as it gets warmer, scenes like this, they say, will be more and more frequent. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver.